From Commander Red Banner Northern Fleet to K-123, Subject Atlantic Operations. Situation. KGB has reported that due to the deteriorating diplomatic situation between the Warsaw Pact and NATO, the USA is planning a nuclear strike. As a result, all Red Banner submarines enter the Atlantic. The USN has reportedly just hours ago ordered the Ohio-class ballistic missile submarine USS Nevada to fire his missiles against the USSR. A report from B-515 indicates that the USS Nevada is in fact heading towards the USSR on a heading of approximately 35 degrees. He should be within 20 nautical miles of 30-24 north, 50-51 west at 0900 hours. The Kremlin wishes to avoid all-out war, so they have ordered the Nevada to be disabled rather than destroyed. Your objective is to intercept and cripple USS Nevada so that he cannot fire his missiles. Locate USS Nevada and fire one torpedo to cripple him. Your objective takes precedence over all other considerations, safety of your boat and crew included. B-515 is out of fuel and will not be able to assist. All reports to Commander Red Banner Northern Fleet. Copy the sub-broadcast at least every six hours. Break. Mother of God. Let's go the mast! Hold ahead two thirds, set them for 900 meters. Hey everyone, FPS Chazzle here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dangerous Waters. This is Reinforce Alert. We are playing as an alpha. This mission is called Cripple the Nevada. So as you heard in the brief, tensions are mounting, are running high, and the U.S. has a, a boomer, the USS Nevada, heading on the course to the USSR to launch ballistic missiles at the USSR. So we are to find her, shoot one torpedo, and cripple her. No more, no less. The precedence of our survivability as a boat or a crew does not take precedence over finding the Nevada. So Nevada is in this range circle and on this estimated course here. So that at least gives us like a little area to look around. The mission was started out at 8 knots. I reduced speed to 3. This is the brief that I read. Sometimes the in-game brief and the main brief are different. Not in this case, so we have no tote array here. We just have a cylindrical and a hull. And there's a little flag there. Okay. <laughs> uh, ooh, nice. Nice green screen. I like the uh, the contrast here. So this is going to be interesting. This is my first time ever playing as an alpha. First serious reinforce alert video. Hang on a sec. Okay, just making sure my volume is at nominal. I need to turn it down when I record multiplayer missions. Hint, hint. Wink, wink. Okay. So, all quiet on the western front right now, it seems. Eastern front, whatever. I don't know. Conformal. The conformal can see out the front. That's weird. Seems weird to me. I don't know. But we'll take it. Sure, why not? Oh, big old alpha. Nice. These orders are seven bloody hours old. Sitting on the bottom like an adult schoolboy. Let's see. Where is the Ohio? That's a good question, I guess. What? What? Let me let me look at these. What? It's for me. Whenever I I concentrate to read a briefing like that, I never absorb anything of what I'm reading. <laughs> so let's see. Just needs to find her. We don't have like a time limit or anything. Just need to find her. Okay. Let's see. Very well. So we got to run up and down this uh, this line here. Who knows if she's above or below the layer? Layers at 330 meters. This isn't alpha, but I I don't think we can go any deeper than the Akula depth, which is unfortunate. Because it'll have to be like all ahead two thirds set depth 900 meters. It'll just be Captain. Uh, Vostokov? No, that's a K-19. Konevalov. No, that's the, that's the name of the boat. Tupolev. There you go. Tupolev. Okay. I want to be Captain Tupolev. Inquiring to the engineer about going to 105 on the reactor. What's wrong? Where are we going? We're going to kill a friend, Yevgeny. We're going to kill Ramius. <laughs> Can't freaking help myself. I know Ben's losing it right now. <clears throat> 
Alrighty, so I guess we're gonna have to worry about um, her defending herself for sure. I just rec I'm working on a video about active sonar, so <laughs> I'm like half tempted to freaking just use it right now. <sighs> so probably not in the baffles of me. We're going a we could. This thing is I don't know how loud this thing is. I've never really gone up against an alpha to really have a sense of its noise level here. So this will be interesting here. This will be interesting. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Don't really think we can crawl around. I think I'd rather go up this way and then head back that way. Because if I go down here and don't see anything, then that means I have to come all the way back up here. So let's go north. Rudder right, steer course three, five, we'll nine, just go steering north. Guy. And, uh, well, two thirds should take me to about 10 Engines knots, shouldn't it? Two -thirds, steering guy. We can see what that does. Even if she fires at me, I can just, you know, pop open the, the throttles and just book it, cook it and book it. Let me go ahead and look at the reference. See what my max depth is. Yeah, it's only modeled as 500 meters. Can they model it deeper than that, but just don't? Because I want them to do the really deep thing. Lead bismuth. Yes, indeedy. Lead bismuth. Okay. Fast reactor. Let's head due north. Head right for there. Then we'll work our way back. Try and look for this Shayla. Hmm. Lair is at a rather deep point. A thousand foot layer is pretty deep. She could definitely be under there. I know she can dive beneath a thousand feet, but how deep can she go? She can go... Doesn't even say. Shouldn't it say if you can play as it? How deep it goes? Able to submerge to 300 meters. Really, that's it? Is that test that that can't be max depth, that's gotta be test depth. Hmm. SHG is made by General Electric. Okay, very well. Didn't know they made a Steer course three, five, nine. Non boiling water reactor pressurized water reactors. Okay, that's um so that means she's if that mm. Is that it really? Nine hundred meters? That might be. Or 900 feet, excuse me. 1,000 feet-ish. Hmm. That would be interesting. Because then, that means she's probably not beneath this layer then. <coughs> Which is interesting indeed. How's my sonar looking? Conformal's gone. Probably can't even see too much on the cylindrical right now. Ooh, man. I mean, I got two trackers on each. So this will be... Playing as this is fun. <laughs> That's a, That was a very sarcastic fun, if you could not tell. Okay, so we're going 10 knots. It's decently far away. Right there. It's going to take 45 minutes to get there. Going to take 45 minutes. That's a long time. So, let us... Oh, I'm already very close to the layer anyway. Go to depth, four, zero, zero meters. Depth control, I... Let's freaking go underneath the layer. Half tempted to see see what this puppy see what this baby can do, <laughs> kick out the stops and just uh, you know let her rip. I would be curious to see that. Oh, there's your uh, they don't, they're not as they don't stick out as much as on like the Akula or the Oscar, but there's your um, feed water inlets for the reactor there, which I hope to explain one day with my nuclear tutorial. So get on my ass so I can get back on that shit and start working on those more. Long story short, this is not the water for the reactor. It's part of that cycle, but this isn't for the reactor. Reactor uses fresh water, not salt water. Okay. We're coming up on that layer here. Maybe at least where I am, I can uh, do a routine clearing of the baffles and see what we can see around here. So I'm not being a completely stupoid. Engines ahead, one third. Steering so let's guy. all ahead, one third, and let's do uh, <coughs> let's do rudder over. Rudder left, one nine degrees. Steering guy. And let's see what we can't, what we can't see around here. 
once we get down to 180, I'll just order the course change, but I don't feel like ordering it twice. I'll just do it this way. See what we got to see around these parts. Who was out? Well, what was that? That looked like a signal almost. If I see anything on the broadband, I'm going to see it on the narrowband first. Gotta always remember that. Hmm. Dooby dooby doo. Oh, loadout. Um, I have four set 65s and two squalls loaded up. The good old squall. Uh, so it says one torpedo hit. I'm assuming it's some kind of logic to sift through it. So I'm probably just going to try and. By the time I hear the Ohio, I'm sure I'm going to be in squall range anyway. So. I just have to use the squall. So if I go up and down this line and I don't see anything, then I am just going to start pinging because what else can I do at that point? <laughs> I'm uh, kind of half expecting that. The sensor's on this boat. I'm not expecting anything too freaking crazy here. This is very much late 70s, early 80s tech going on here. Um, and, uh,. It's definitely post Walker spy ring, I think, but maybe not. No, probably not, because those pro that's a very not noise friendly looking prop or lack of noise friendly. That's a loud prop, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. I'm sure it pushes hella water, but it's loud, loud looking. Um, so yeah, I'm not expecting. If I see the Ohio on a freaking sensor, she must be doing like. 10 knots or something because if she's crawling there's no way I'm seeing that 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 ship without getting really close to her. Okay, let's return to Rudolf do north. Left, steer course zero, zero, one. Steering A. Oh, I was saying they're, they're making that turn a lot more shallow, but I, I always forget there's like ship dynamics in this game. Subcommand is just like er, 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 er. just no. Get to that speed, get to that course. You know, do it now. <laughs> this game actually has momentum. <clears throat> okay, so I guess I wasn't really looking here, but my baffles are still uncovered compared to what I was doing before, and this is all pretty clear. So let's uh, yeah, let's kick up the standard, take us up to the one five knots, and see what we got. I want to see what my cylindrical washes out here. The conformal starts to wash out at like eight knots. I'm expecting maybe twelve knots. Yeah, 12, 12 to 13 is when the cylindrical starts washing out. So we are very deaf right now. Don't really have any semblance of how much noise my boat is making. But it does have the nuclear noise and not the like kilo noise going on, so that's nice. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Let's, uh... This is fine. Um, in my experience, it's about a one and a half nautical mile bubble around you where the layer becomes ineffective due to the critical angle that deals with uh, wave refraction and reflection. So right about there, if the Ohio is above the layer, anything within that range is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm someone's going to hear me clear as day. So. That's fine. That's not that big of a bubble. So that 300 meter bit was interesting. That seems kind of shallow to me, but I don't know. Who knows? I guess you don't really need to... A boomer doesn't really need to be able to dive that deep. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's good. That could just be how the way it is. Who knows? <laughs> it's like kilo performance in terms of depth, though. So let's uh, see Engine what this puppy can do, huh? Guy. See what she can do. Oh, it has a battery. Acoustics. A battery. Cavity. I'm cavitating at 400 meters. Okay, let's see if we can't augment that because Go I don't want. Four, Damn! Five, look at that zero, speed. <laughs> depth control. Wow! I got up there quick. Holy crapioli! Got up there quick. Damn. Moving. I think this thing might always cavitate unless I could actually get down to like alpha depths. But who knows? This is kind of a slow dive. What's up with that? It's interesting. But yeah, we're we're definitely cooking now. <laughs> Mark 48's only got 12 knot speed of closure on me. That's freaking crazy. Gross depth and depth. What the hell's the difference? 
between gross depth and depth. I don't know. I don't remember seeing that in the kilo display, which is why I'm confused by it. Eh, I don't know. It's weird. Oh, there's like some oscillations going on. Oh god, are they getting worse? I don't think so. It's weird. Okay. It says my max depth is about 500 meters. I'm not trying to have someone warn me of crush depth here, but man, I'm, I guess this thing just cavitates at all depths. Okay, so let's cut it back and see if that stops the cavitating. Revolutions for 32 knots. Propulsion I. No, not really. I'm not really trying to cavitate right now. Let's try 25 knots. It's revolutions for 25 knots. Propulsion I. No longer cavitating. Control acoustics. We have stopped cavitating. Very well. All right. So let's just, uh... I mean, I, I am deaf here. I can't... If someone's launching on me, I can't even tell. So let's just Engines slow to two-thirds. Two -thirds. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I might just stay at two-thirds here. Because it would be nice to know if someone's, you know, trying to kill me. That would be nice. Um... But this thing, this thing has some speed. You could hell a sidestep. Uh, let's see. Let's just keep it at flank. Engines ahead, flanks. Even if I come out of it and there's a torp coming for me, it's like yo. Just juice it up, man. Look at that acceleration. It's crazy talk. Don't know if it actually accelerates that quickly in real life, but that's freaking amazing. Alrighty. Let us get up there to that end of this bubble and we'll start working it. Yeah, look at that shimmy. That's weird. I don't like that. It seems to be... Now it looks like it's reached steady state here. A steady state shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, coco pop. Oh, look, the bow plane's rigged in. Keel. <coughs> and uh, I guess we can get ready to come out of this. So let's do that. Engines ahead, one third, one third steering guy. We have stopped and let's uh, go up 300 meters like we were before. Go to depth, three, zero, zero <coughs> meters. Depth control, I. Jesus Christ. You know what? I got time for that, so we're gonna time lapse here. Let's turn this way. Ruder left, steer course three, one, two. Steering guy, steer course three, one, see two. See what we can't see. I need to be ready to look at something. Huh. 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 That's pretty clear. I'm going to assume the cylinder is more sensitive than the conformal, but based on my experiences of years past, tends to be. But who knows? Mainly just because cylindrical does low frequency and conformal does high. Um, no, sorry. Um, conformal could potentially be more sensitive because the cylindrical does high frequency mostly, and high frequency attenuates faster than low frequency, which is why the toad hears things from so far away. Ah, ba -ba -ba -ba. On this, the day of my daughter's wedding. Okay, let's go. Mm. This way. Ruder left, steer course two, two, and we seven, can start steering just, guide. You know, going down this picket. Just start doing that. Where, how, where, where have we been to? Where have we come from? Where did you come from? Where did you go? We're going that way. So let's uh, actually do like a little snaky, snaky along this. That just seems kind of safe. That might be too much of a or too coarse of a snaky snaky I don't want to put like too much distance between these waypoints and I'll never actually be turning <laughs> let's do a little snaky snaky Mr. Dibs we will see what that gets us if it doesn't get us too much then we're just going to go Yankee search as it were and start pinging start pinging like crazy but not seeing anything right now. This mission's probably just gonna be like a time lapse or something like that. Hmm. Alright, well I'm gonna stop here. Thanks for watching everyone. Tune in next time. Maybe we'll find ourselves in Ohio.
see what this uh see what this boat's all about but until then thanks for watching have a good one good hunting